Daniels. What's up, Ralph? What up, Popeye? Hey, man. How you doing, Uncle? How you doing, man? Hey, I got a bright light on me, man. It's shining like a monster. Yeah, I got a bright light on me, too. It's like, it's like, it's <laughs> like my I feel like I'm getting interrogated by myself. <laughs> you got flashbacks? Yeah, I'm getting flashbacks and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, tell me now, nigga. I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> what up, bro? You know what I mean? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm getting ready for uh, Ed's uh, 50th birthday. You know, we want to celebrate the legend. Mm. Give him the flowers while we're here. You know, definitely, definitely. One, of the, one of the great ones out of BK, man. We got to do it for him. BK Flappish to be exact, you know what I mean? <laughs> Flappish yeah. to be exact. So um, so you're throwing the party for Ed for his 50th birthday party. So that's what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You know, we played a big role in, you know, in Ed's career. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when he first came out, you know, we, the, we you know, we was video music boxes playing those videos heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay. And um, we just want, you know, people, you know, we, you know, we've been locked down for a long time and, People to come out and come out for a purpose, man. You know something that's special, mm. and um, no pun intended. But you know, Ed, Ed has done a lot in putting Flatbush on the map. You know, that's a fact. And around the world, you'd be surprised, man. You go to Japan and Africa and uh, Brazil and all these places, Germany, all these different places, and people didn't know nothing about Flatbush until they they heard a special Ed record. You know? Wow, that's well, that yo, everybody I heard what Rapper Daniel just say. Special Ed made people know about Flatbush around the world, like Japan. They don't know about Brooklyn, they don't know, but they know about Flatbush. So we know we're going to honor that man when he step on the platform tonight. Um, That's right. Before we even get to Ed, before he jump on, you know, I'm, I'm going to tap in with you for a little bit. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people, you, you raised a lot of people in Brooklyn or across the world in New York City. You raised us in the hip-hop world. You was the first to one. You the first to do it. And I always wanted to ask you this, like, couple, one or two questions. What made you want to start to do a video show? What really made you want to start to do that? Um, for me, it was, um, I, first of all, I was a lover of music. I was a DJ first. You know, I was playing in clubs in Flatbush because I lived in, when I started video music, but I lived in Flatbush on um, East, 30, East 35th and Beverly Road. Okay. And, and, um, and I was playing a lot of clubs in the area. And I just went to school for film and stuff, and I started putting the picture and the music together. And I said, you know, we should put this on TV. And you know, and then at some point, I saw MTV and I see no black people, no mm. black performers <laughs> except for Michael Jackson. And, <laughs> That's a fact. You know, yeah, and you know, and I, I knew some of these artists, you know, from from around the way, as well as um, and, and living in Queens, I knew, of course, you know, Run DMC and. Davey DMX and all of those guys that were early in the game. and So you grew Curtis up around Run DMC era? Like, not the era. I mean, you grew up in their neighborhood in that part, too? Yeah, yeah, in Hollis. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm originally from Bed-Stuy. Okay. Then I moved to Hollis, to Queens Village, Hollis. Mm. Then I moved back to Brooklyn. And I lived in Flatbush for a very long time. And um, and in two locations, one by East 35th and Beverly Road. And then I was over there by the Junction. And... um. You know, and so Abby H at thirty four. Let's let the people know you was on the junction <laughs> side. Abby H at thirty four. Continue. Come on, come on, man. You know, you know the vibes over there. You got to play the, the 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 hardcore hip hop, and you got to throw some some Caribbean music in the mix all the time over there. You know what I mean? That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. So, as you were the first person that you know put this to put that um video show together, because you know when you watch a lot of documentaries and you watch a lot of stuff about hip hop. Your name always come up, always, especially from the golden era, especially from the golden era. Like your name comes up like popcorn, Bing! Ralph McDaniel. Yeah, sure. If it wasn't for Ralph, if it wasn't for Ralph, that's all you hear. If it wasn't for Ralph, I don't know where my career would have been. How do you feel about that? Like as time went by, how you feel about brothers saluting you, give me your flowers, and you was the godfather that opened the gate for all of this? How do you feel um, about that? It feels that? good. <laughs> no, it feels feels good because, you know, I did what I was supposed to do. I was ready. Look, I'm, you know, Brooklyn is bigger than me. You know, it's right. and Flatbush is bigger than me. So I'm just a product of my environment. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I had to represent because I knew where I came from. You know, right. I had to come in with that attitude, that Brooklyn pride. You know, we have pride. One thing about Brooklyn, <laughs> we some proud people. You know, oh, we, we call out Brooklyn wherever we go. 
<laughs> we definitely proud people. We we wear we wear it on you know, wear, wear it on our shoulders and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a fact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big up to Crazy Legs in here. BX in the building. Yes, hip hop oh, is Crazy in the Legs, building. Crazy Legs, the um yeah. the um break dancer. Yes, yes, oh yes. Oh my yes. God! Salute to Crazy Legs. Salute, man. You all, we all flappish platform. Oh my God! That's 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 another legend. B yes. Street, B yes. Street, uh, popping and breaking. I remember him. Um, powerful yeah. from Flatbush too was you know you, you got a legend, a lot of legends that you know did that thing back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Hey, um, cool rock, let me ask cool rock. Huh? Hey yo, cool rock ski just got on too. Cool ski, God damn, we got cool legends rock. in here tonight. The fat boys, cool rock ski. Oh, just got oh on. my God, cool rock ski. I'm in East New York right now. I'm in your hometown, <laughs> East New York. By I don't want to say the projects because everybody gonna just pop up where I'm at, but I'm in your hood. Yeah, I mean, y'all in East New York, homie. <laughs> Salute to the fat boy. They are all you can eat. <laughs> I still watch Crush Group to this day. I still watch Crush Group. And that's one of my best parts. With all you can eat. You know what I mean? <laughs> they battling. And that other movie they did. Nigga, Ed just texted me. say coming in. Um, That other movie they did, that was one of my best movies. Um, Delirious. Yeah. Oh, the Disorderly. Yeah. Text me when it's time. I mean, they, hey, come on now. Wait, hold on, man. Hold on. This boy, Ed crazy. Yeah, they got text me talking about he getting off the plane. Okay, well that's all right. That's why it's live. That's why it's on your phone. Ed, just jump on in, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Like, Maybe talk. I said, come in, tune in right now. Hey, drive your car and talk. <laughs> yeah. So um yeah. I, I mean, I'm, since we got Ed, Ed ain't tap in yet though, we're gonna touch on you a little bit. Um, in your whole career of being behind so much successful people in the game and connected so many dots, like you know. I heard that you was one of the first people. I mean, not first, but you know, I heard you were shooting videos back in the day. You did the cream video. You not that cream. You did protect your neck. You did cream too. I did cream. I didn't do protect your neck. I did oh. cream, and I did um, ice cream for Raekwon. I did incarcerated Scarface for Raekwon. Damn. I did um, Black Moon. Who got the props? I did um, Nas. It ain't hard to tell. Um, self destruction, the video, me and my partner Lionel. Damn, yo, Rob, you just said three videos this now that shook my fucking heart. That's you. <laughs> Whoa, I even know you did. I even know you did incarcerated Scarface. Yeah, I didn't know you yeah, did. Yeah. That's a hard yeah. video. I like the cuts in that. I like the, the cuts in the. Ooh. Ah, damn, what? <laughs> Rob, you're giving me, Rob, you're giving me little goosebumps right here. So, out of all the people you interviewed in your whole career, in your career, Yes. Who, which one of the, which one of those interviews was one of the best interviews that is monumental to you? I think for me, um, I'm gonna mention uh, a couple of groups that you know represent out of Brooklyn. Okay. One is Houdini. One is Houdini. Flatbush. You know, and, and and you know, before Big and before Jay, you know, there was Houdini. You know, mm -hmm. and 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 they was representing. You know, like with those smooth. Sounds and the suits and everything, mm. you know, that's a piece to ecstasy. Um, of course, you know, the, the fat boys, you know, the vibes, Dana Dane, mm. you know, so many people, Chub Rock. Um, uh, I mean, the list goes on. My man, I'm, I'm, I'm I, my man, Cutmaster DC is coming through tomorrow, and he's mm. the one that made um, Brooklyn's in the house, and that's you know, he's he's the guy who made that record, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's famous around the world. <laughs> Famous around the world, you know, Brooklyn Cat, you know, and so that's the kind of, you know, vibe that, you know, I know as the original Brooklyn sound and big up to all the B-boys, all the different crews that was in Brooklyn mm. doing their thing and, you know, or especially all the graph writers, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, somebody said Kane, of course, we can't forget Kane. Kane. And my partner also did um, Ain't No Half Step and we did that video too. So, yeah. Yo, wait, 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 bro. Wait, bro. See, this is before the day niggas was getting credit. So, Rob, you really did a lot of videos. Yeah, over 400 videos we did. You did yeah, over we did 400 hip hop videos. No, just, not just hip hop. We did, I mean, um, we did like, um, Poison for Bell Biv DeVoe. We did, um, uh, Whitney man. Houston videos. We did All the Boys to Men whole first album, TLC, the whole first album. Um, mm -hmm. man, the, the list. 
the list is crazy, you know, amount of, you know, films that we've done. And, and, we, and of course, you know, we have the documentary out now. Yeah, oh, yeah I'm about to touch on that. I mean, before yeah. I touch on that, I'm not Ed about to tap in. Before I touch on that, you just mentioned somebody, Biggie. I like, yeah. can you tell me something about Big? Matter of fact, can you tell me something about the night Big was in Flatbush with Jay-Z in the arc? A lot of y'all don't know about the arc. I don't know if y'all was outside then. So can you explain that picture? I wish I had that picture tonight. Can you explain that picture with Jay-Z, Biggie, in the arc, your birthday party, in Flatbush? Can you tell me, can you give me a vision of that night? Can you give the people a vision that night? Okay, so it wasn't in it wasn't at the Ark though. It was in Manhattan. Oh, and so, oh okay, damn. I'm but it felt, it, no, but it felt like it was in the Ark. It oh, felt I thought like it was in the Ark. My bad. Because I, I know the reason I say that is because the reason I say that is because you used to throw a lot of parties in the Ark. Yeah, 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 yeah. You used it to was, throw a lot it was, of parties was, in the Ark. So that's why I say that. It was all of Brooklyn, but we had moved into Manhattan for that night. <laughs> okay, all right, my my fault. I ain't, I ain't my fault. My fault. So. Tell us about that night, cause that was it. Cause that picture, if everybody can remember, is a picture out there with Jay Z and Biggie on a stage rapping. If I'm right, I think G. I mean, um, Biggie had like a Coogee type of shirt on, type of little flannel type of shirt. If I'm wrong, if I'm right, yeah, he might have. Yeah, he might have. Right. Well, he he. I want. I, I asked Puff. You know, Biggie's album was out. You know, Ready to Die was out, and I said, Yo, Puff, can we get you know Big to come in and host my birthday? Right. And so Puff was like, no problem. You know, Big loves you, Ralph. You know, he grew up watching you. He, he'll do whatever for you. So I was like, all right, cool. And so he came and, you know, once people knew that Big was going to be there, then everybody else came. Now, you remember that Jay is just getting there. He's not Jay-Z yet. You know, right, he's, right, he's, right. He Big was out nice. first. Yeah, he know he's nice, but, but Big is, you know, is a big deal. And mm -hmm. of course, wherever Big was going, Jay was going to show up. Like, what's going on? And so <laughs> Jay, the night. Like, how we roll. We roll with the, the flight. <laughs> you know I mean? So, you know, so Jay showed up and 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 came through. You know, the whole Rock Rockefeller, and you know, and they were building their brand. And you know, um, and you know, I I played um Get Money. I had DJ Ace play Get Money, and so Big looked at me. He said, "I guess I'm supposed to rhyme now." <laughs> and I said, yeah. And then Jay was like, get money, like, get money, get money. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah. And so he did Junior Mafia. He did his verse on, on that's really Junior Mafia's song. Right, right. I know that. Yeah. So he did, he did, um, he did his verse and um, he, um, he, he got Jay to kind of like ad lib for him in, in between it. So that okay, was hold, a classic. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Ralph. <laughs> this, 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 we all flat, but you don't skip over things. You saying that. <laughs> Biggie was rapping, and Jay was so called the hype man that night. Yeah, Jay was the hype man that night. Jay was. The hype man. <laughs> they had a good time. They had a good time. They, but you know those Whoa. those two, those two were like this. You know, yeah, they, yeah, was yeah. they went to school together. I heard a lot. Yeah, they was they was repping BK to the fullest. So Jay mm. didn't have no problem with doing that. That was that was vice. It could go either way. They mm. the big would have did the same thing for Jay. So okay. you know it was it was all. Um, you know that pride that we talk about, that Brooklyn pride. You know mm. that that's what that was. You know, especially if you was outside of Brooklyn, and you know everybody represented. You know, came through thorough, looking good. You know, um, and that was a classic moment in hip hop history because there's not too many moments where they were together on stage performing. Right, right, right. That, that that's a fact. You know, what I mean, they never because, like you just said, you know I mean, Big was out first. Um, Jay Z was climbing his ranks up. I don't even think he dropped the album around that time yet either. You know what I'm saying? No, so no. he was climbing maybe, up. Maybe, um, what you call might have been out. Ain't, ain't no, and Dead Press might have been out at that time. You know, Might have been out by that time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So, all right, so let me ask you another one. You know, I don't know what's wrong with Ed. I mean, he must be in his car putting his suitcase in there. Um, but, you know, we, we, we have a legend on the platform. So, you know, we're waiting for another legend. And like I said, you raised us. I mean, I, I'm guaranteed every person on this platform right now ran home at 3 o'clock, 3.30, turned to Channel 31, and watched some videos before they went back outside. 